Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, what are we gonna do? The Hierophant, I saw it before the Eight of Cups, so we're gonna do Earth first. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Week two for June, I am combining all the elements right here. Um, the Earth elements, and you will have your individuals um, on Patreon. Okay, so. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's just stuff being aligned, and it's, it's just the way I'm doing it. Okay, there's the Hierophant really wants to come out with the Seven of Cups. It's a choice between two men or two women. Five of Wands reversed. Not wanting to compete anymore, giving in, giving up. Eight of Swords. Can't stop thinking about something. I'm going to read reversals now, but I'm also going to read them when I clarify. Somebody clearly wants somebody to themselves. Like one particular person. Like dreaming, daydreaming, illusions, fantasy. This is like, I don't know if somebody is in a marriage and they're fantasizing about somebody else being with someone else. Because that's somebody who doesn't want commitment unless you're just dealing with a strong earth sign or a fire sign. Um, there was a marriage scenario that came through in the fire sign, but, um, this is, this is illusion, fantasy. This is like being stuck. Yeah. See, that makes sense. The eight of swords. Cause it's like, you don't know what's real, but when somebody's in someone's arms, it's, it's, it's real. It's, hmm. Very overwhelming energy. Is you would think the five of wands would remain upright because that would be confliction, mentally battling yourself, physically battling yourself. This is a battle. It's like knowing what you want, but at the same time, it is. We really do have a couple different energies. I can feel energy of like no way. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'd like to say this is a lesson, but it's it probably was already a lesson. Ten of Wands, so hopefully you're dropping the weight. I did see the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. See what I'm saying? Some of you are like, no. Some of you got rejected and it's a blessing. Others of you, is you don't want it. You're going to reject them. See, like the Eight of Cups reversed again. See, somebody's coming back around the mountain. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. They'll be coming around the mountain. They'll be coming around the mountain. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. Okay. So, I don't know if this is somebody from your past. Somebody you just dealt with. You knew. It could have been somebody you were dating. You could have just been dating. You found out somebody was married. You would have knew somebody was married or... There was still something in the picture. You know what I mean? And then you you really have a masculine here that, like, when you guys are together, you're together. To me, that's not strategizing right now. That's, that's confusion. That's daydreaming. Daydreaming. Very seductive energy. Sexual energy. There's two people in the background getting married here. I don't know if they're seeing things. 
But man, when you two are together, look at you. So I can't stop thinking about you. You must have walked away. You got two eights. You must have walked away from this. This is something coming back around the corner. Back around the mountain. So apparently it's right around the corner. Um... Holy fantasy. This is gonna this is gonna be a tough this is a tough week for you guys or for whomever you're dealing with. Cause this is not being able to see clearly. Tell me about the higher font. If it's not multiple people, it's still having a hard time seeing clearly. Because it's fantasy. The star. See, someone's hoping, following a certain direction. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Page of Cups reversed. This is, see, someone's still hoping they have a shot. This, I mean, so, you can't stop thinking about somebody or, or vice versa. So it's like something serious here, but at the same time, it's... It, it's, if you're in a relationship, it's like, why? Because you, you're fantasizing about other people. I don't know if someone's going to hit you up. You passed. And it stirs up all these memories. One more for the Hierophant, please. It's, it's like you're being guided, too, in a way. It's something very symbolic there, but at the same time, you know, four of pens. Yeah, so letting go. So you you are letting go of a situation, possibly a relationship, eight of pens. That was the same message in fire. They had the eight of pens and the four of pens. So you're hoping to save something with someone else. There was other people in the picture. If you are single, somebody from your past is coming back and this happened in your past. Just Four swords reversed in the hangman. So you're coming out of this year. You, okay. So you're coming out of heavy meditation or being quiet or not wanting to. Yeah, no, see, that's. If you were resting, you're coming out of it. So there's a big pause here. There's also a sacrifice. You're making a sacrifice, you're leaving something for something else. So if somebody was doing absolutely nothing about something, here they come. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Okay, that, okay, that's fine. I'm working. I love you. Bye. She must have called me like eight times today, for real. This is a, a major sacrifice, and someone's hoping it, it can all work out. It, it's just, guys, it's it's tough. With the Seven of Cups, and I see the fantasy, the fantasy, the illusions. Like when I believe it's real, right? But, like, how do you make real-life decisions in this energy? It is. So, I don't know. Is it? Is he really strategizing, he or she? High priestess, following their destiny, following their gut. See, this is somebody that was blinded but not wanting to see something. Eight of Cups reverse. Again, coming back around the mountain. Don't want something to be over. Someone's letting go of a lover, 
and, and wants a chance with another one. If you're cross watching and you know what this is, you know this person coming back around. Oh man, I don't I don't even know what to tell you. They are sacrificing, they are leaving something, they are letting something go. They are no longer holding on. I, do you just have a sh there must be like holy massive effing chemistry. Tell me about this King of Wands. Two of Cups. Yeah, it's like falling in love. Didn't expect to fall in love. With the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like fulfillment. Again, if you're cross watching, you're gonna watch all. You're gonna want to watch all the other zodiacs. King of Pentacles reverse. It's like that. They're not doing anything about it yet. The Nine of Pentacles. This isn't confusing me, but it's it's confusing me. It's confusing you. It, it's it's a lot. It's like hidden secrets here too, but it's also following your gut and going. It's also following destiny. It's like leaving one person behind and, and, and choosing someone else. There's a choice here. Choose, they're sacrificing. I'm choosing to go back. There's somebody coming back towards you. Like they see a straight up future with you. Nine of Pentacles. See, it's the way they're looking at the feminine. And this came in with the welcome, welcome, welcome. The weekly read. I didn't relabel it yet. It's, it's coming. It's coming at you guys. Things are being revealed. Five of Swords are reversed. Like there's... Someone feels like defeated. But they are wholly fantasizing about you. Like you're just... You're the Empress in their eyes. You're the Nine of Pents. You're stable. You're nurturing. You got it going on. You're independent. You stand in your morals. It's everything about you that's loving. holy chemistry you guys have some of you could have even been spiritual bait or some of you I'm telling you you went in not expecting to fall in love and they were still dealing with some type of past relationship or current relationship or you know the monarchy or the family they were still learning something so initially this five of wands was reversed this is not wanting to argue anymore six of pence reverse yeah see there was there was no balance there was too many people the energies were going all over the place with the knight of cups but they caught feelings with the three of wands they've been putting something on hold this ace of pence here it all comes you're definitely going to want to watch the the weekly read i might just leave it as welcome 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 and then just do week two of june after it and that might be saying a lot too. Like, welcome, welcome, welcome. Like, there's something new here. Welcome. It's coming. So you are laying the weight down. You are making sacrifices. Oh, they are. With the hermit. They're just not saying anything yet. But this is somebody who's really, really goes within and is like, when they come out, they know exactly what they want. And they're looking right at the nine of pence. But this could also be the hermit that was looking over the nine of pence in yesterday's read. With the Six of Swords. So this is something that's about to move forward. Dropping the weight. Finalizing some type of decision here. This is this is somebody has really been weighing this heavily for a while. 
Yeah, see, Ten of Cups, where their happiness is. But this is also completions, too. This is somebody that could have been blocking a situation. Because here you have the Two of Wands reversed, so it's like not moving forward, so an ending and ending. Somebody's deciding to end it. They're coming to you to tell you it is. Somebody made a major impact on somebody. And it's just like no matter what they're doing or where, it's like just cannot stop thinking about you. Yeah, see, Knight of Cups, here they come. Three of Wands. So if something was on hold, it's, it's like it's coming. Five of Wands reverse. So yeah, somebody just doesn't want to argue anymore. The strength, they're coming at you. I don't know if you walked away, they walked away. Something's ascending here. I can feel it. The Emperor Reverse. It's somebody who's... It, it's like they need to get their power back with the Knight of Swords, like not engaging. This is a pissed off energy. So this is this energy is, is way different than all the other energy right now. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The star. So again, still, it could be done with an Aquarius, but just really hoping that something's going to work out here. I don't know if you stopped entertaining a situation. You're more focused on you, your work. They're, they're coming at you. Look at the, you guys. The chemistry you have is insane. I almost feel like this emperor is not meant to be reversed. But it is. So right now, like, they're angry. They're pissed off. I, you know, they got to walk away from a situation. If it is linked to the fire that I just did, there was a massive change and there is energy of everyone kind of being like pissed because it's, it was like, um, the energy of like seeing someone's true colors and it's like gotta be out. So I don't know if you were pissed, you held on, you stayed so long, pissed that you found out like somebody really was blocking a new opportunity. This is destiny. This is destiny. You got it again. You got the chemistry here. I don't think you're entertaining it. I think right now, if this is you guys, you're just focused on your money, yourself, your finances. There's a move here. Yeah, see, judgment, and then here it comes. Second chance. Whether you want it, whether you take it or not. This is like loss of power, feeling inadequate, hangman reversed, king of swords reversed. Not saying much, detached, detaching from a situation. This is energy that's definitely walking away from a situation in the Eight of Pence. Now you got 888. That's major change too, especially when it comes to your finances. You might want to watch Fire because ending with Fire, and it was the same type of ending except they had all the 555s, five, 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 but there was like the Ten of Pence was reversed here, and now the Emperor is reversed. So, you're definitely detaching from a situation and going in a new direction. It's like you're making a new promise to someone else. If you're cross-watching. Someone's coming at you soon. Like, they're going to cater to you. You got promises coming. I'm not big on promises, but I'm 
maybe some of you like promises. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure out like where to go with this. This is a lot. So it's Virgo Capricorn additional messages. There's the ascending that I felt. Was that in you guys' read? Can't even remember. I think so. I, I think I said that. I felt that. Something's about to move forward. There's been deception and lies. The balancing of the scales is coming. Yep, return. It's return of the Mac. Somebody, again, cannot stop thinking about you. I don't know if they've been lying about how they feel. About what they really want. But they're coming back for a second chance whether you take it or not. You might not even be interested. Yeah. Like I said, you might not even be interested. You know? Um... Is this somebody lying about what they want? Because I asked what deception was. You know, this is somebody who missed an opportunity, didn't want to see something, didn't take an opportunity, and now they want back. You might not even see it coming, or you might just be like, fuck this. Don't want it. I'm going to concentrate on yourself, especially with the Ten of Pents. Oh, see Five of Swords. Damn. This reminds me again of the welcome, welcome, welcome. And the fire read I just did. Something with money. It's a little bit of a loss of money. It's like seeing someone's true colors here. Someone's definitely lying about what they wanted. Let's see if I can get <clears throat> anything else real quick on this four of cups. Three of cups could have been too many people in the picture. At one point, there was a connection you had with somebody, but somebody else came into the picture, and now it's like you don't want it. You're going elsewhere, and then somebody's coming back to you. Someone's circling back around to you right here. Will you forgive them? Because there was a real shitty scenario that went down. That was reversed too. So it's, again, it's like somebody who wants to win in a scenario, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, Not Happy, Queen of Swords. So this is, so basically, you're moving forward, somebody else is not. The person that you were in a relationship with is going to put um, a big stink. Just know you're moving forward, okay? You have brighter and bigger things ahead of you. You really, really do. You're going to make a sacrifice and go in a new direction. Someone's coming back around, guys. You are moving forward. It, it really is positive. It's just there's so much going on under lines. The person you're dealing with doesn't even know, or this is you, like, do I really want this? Do I, I mean, is this really going to work? Is this because of everything? It's because of everything that you guys went through. You know what I mean? I'll be done in a minute. The lining out, at least. 
the lining out of the bathing suit? Yeah. Sure. Just that's, I'm gonna need the scissors. Know. That's fine. Huh? That's fine. I'll be out okay. in a second. Just shut the door. Um, you really are ascending, you know, and that's that's what's most important. You know, you're doing what's what's best for you. There's a little bit of a pause before you move forward, but but not that much of a pause. This is like really figuring it out. Um Others of you, again, it's just like you want nothing to do with this person who's coming back and you're going in a whole new direction. And others of you, you might give this person a second chance. And it wouldn't be this person. This is somebody definitely saying no to one person and going towards someone else, someone they're fantasizing about. And obviously, clearly, it's more than fantasy. This, is, this person might just have an inner knowing that there's something about you two with all that chemistry and daydreaming or, or, you know, getting married in the future. This literally could just be somebody who is using their intuition, just has that inner knowing and they're trying their best to, to strategize something. And, and I mean, this is a big sacrifice. They're letting go of a family situation. I mean, clearly there was something that wasn't meant to be between them anyway, you know, so to, in their eyes, it's a major sacrifice. Um, but in all reality, it's, it's, it's really not a loss like that. Your, your happiness is elsewhere. Like, your destiny is elsewhere. It is twice. Your happiness, your wish is elsewhere. Somebody met somebody else, fell in love, didn't see it coming. And if you guys don't know who this is, is somebody, this is somebody coming back from your past and you've experienced this with that person. And others of you, this is getting out of this type of situation. And moving forward, you've had enough. And you're just going to focus on you, worry about you. Some of you might be getting a new job. And again, it might be a job that you applied for years ago. Something here with Mercury, too. Second chance at it. So you applied for some, oh, I wanted that department. But you didn't get it. Well, here it comes. You're going to have to work hard and put effort into it, but it's going to work out for you. All right. Your individuals will be on Patreon. I will see you all over there. Link below. Um, just know at the end of the day, and this week, you are ascending. You are going in a new direction. You're seeing something differently now. It's like no stopping you. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week.